See, I was a fighter pilot, and of course we lived in fear of the flight surgeon. And uh, the first thing you you do, you lie. What are you going to tell a flight surgeon? <laughs> I'm fine, doc. So the the need for objective tests is uh, clear for to everyone. You, like any good medical practice, you want to supplement. Uh, any diagnosis with as much information as you can get. So biomarkers won't uh, replace imaging or functional assessments, but they'll provide a very powerful adjunctive piece of information that is objective, that doesn't re uh, require your uh, report individually. Of course, football players have the same. experience. They lie, they take their tests, uh, they do badly on the neuropsych baseline tests. Uh, even when they do badly after a concussion, no one will know the difference. There's all these strategies, they want to get in the game. And any, any good soldier wants to do the same. So uh, we feel like, this, well, what's wonderful uh, in the midst of all this tragedy is that the military needs very much overlap with the civilian needs. So the efforts that the military makes on, on uh, behalf of these uh, improved diagnostic tools will have immediate applicability in the civilian sector. So our, our, our citizens, I think, should be quite grateful for In fact, the military is, in many ways, the Department of Defense has started to take the lead in traumatic brain injury uh, research and acute brain injury.